Hey guys, so I just wanted to go through and uh, try to get some of those pictures that were very concerning. <laughs> I figure she took them all down. She took everything down of Owen where he was like bare armed and legged, except for when he was really tiny and, you know, it wasn't looking so bad. And. Wow, I mean, she's either smart or just really conniving, you know. She obviously knows there's something wrong with the way, you know, his skinny body looks. That she would go and take all those down. But, um, you know, I have the past uh, videos all in the description box of the video where I put it out to the vegans to help. So, um, anyone who wants to look at any of those past videos can go look in that description box. And I will compile some of the pictures that were worrying us. Um, but while I was looking through Aga's Instagram, I noticed something that I thought was sort of odd for a mother of two. How many professional photo shoots this woman does? It's like, and I looked at the dates on these just to make sure, you know, she didn't like change clothes and do several different poses and stuff like that. And it's like at least seven, eight different times. Maybe she has like a tripod, I was thinking. Maybe she sets up the camera and takes these of herself. That's the only thing that makes sense to me as a mother. Like, I can't remember one photo shoot. Of course, I'm not famous or anything or YouTube famous. You know, maybe uh, those sorts of people, those big uh, influencers are doing more stuff like that, but I still would think maybe once a year, like every month or so, that seems excessive, and I was thinking a lot of people were saying she's narcissistic, you know, she's got serious mental issues, I don't know, I'm not going to speculate on all of that, but I just, I thought that one thing was weird, and I thought, you know, she seems very, very self-absorbed. Just, you know, from another mother's perspective. And just knowing how how big the ego has to be to not see something like this in your child. To be too, you know, to not even want to try to change something. Not even, like, entertain the possibility that you could be wrong. And the chance you're taking if you are wrong, if you are wrong, how detrimental this will be. That's just mind-blowing to me. And the ego has to be really huge. Denial has to be really huge. So her whole thing is she's trying to say that a normal healthy baby can be really skinny or really big. And this is true, but not for her situation. Because this could only be true if everything else seemed well. If the baby was walking, if this motor skills seem to be developing well all of these things you know there are so many other areas to look at and if she was feeding him a normal diet you know it, it makes it ex extra unique that they are fruitarian and they are not getting enough protein and fat and so if we look at him and we say because i know other skinny babies i mean it's you can be skinny and healthy. Nobody is saying that isn't the case. So I'm going to show some pictures of my son and this other little boy standing next to him. This is right when they were learning to walk. He is actually born on the same day Owen was, October 20th. They are the exact same age. This is uh, my cousin's son who was always very skinny. As you can see, there's hardly any rolls. But uh, he's developing normal. He was breastfed, fed a normal omnivorous diet, and is now walking. So, you know, there's that's when there's no, nothing to be concerned about. And he's uh, younger than my son and Owen. And my son right here is actually, he just turned a year old, or actually was about to turn a year old. So, and keep in mind, my son is two weeks younger, or older than Owen. And um, this is, he used to be a lot fatter when before he learned how to walk. And he, like, lost some of it. So, yeah, Owen is, you know, right here. He's my son's age, 15 months old. And we can't even get a picture of him standing up because he can't. Because he doesn't have the muscle strength. 
And it's not just him that people are worried about. It is the whole family. It's the whole family. So bear that in mind. And this is the picture that was so concerning. This is what started all of this. So here's a, son, a picture of my son, his back, his spine. Your spine shouldn't be showing. So, I mean, like, this is just so clear, so apparent. But, of course, if anybody goes and looks on her Instagram, she has taken most of those, um, you know, scary pictures down. Those pictures that are alarming everyone. So, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say is that you can have a skinny baby and it not be concerning at all. As long as they're not drastically underweight and as long as they're hitting all their other milestones. You know, that's the important part. Is he hitting his milestones? And it doesn't seem like that's the case. So that there is a cause for concern. And unless she does something to change his diet, we will be here.